Hey, um, I've been working on a vlog all week, and I've also been watching a lot of YouTube videos between filling out applications, and a friend of mine turned me on to Carrie Walker's videos, who is another journal enthusiast, journal writer, whatever you want to say, and um, I just found this journal in the closet, and I thought, usually before I will read a journal like on a video, I'll wait until it's like a decade old. Cause you know, after 10 years, it's like, you're not even the same person. But uh, this one is seven years old and it's close enough to 10 years, right? I mean, seven years old is like a long time ago now. So this is a journal from 2015. So let's get started. I'm just going to go ahead and read it and post this video. So when you open it, there are stickers and one of the stickers says save the undies. Things I like to save in my journal. Weird. Okay. And the Adele sticker. So apparently I started this and there's a picture of me. I always like to put a picture of me like on the front. This one I'm obviously got all the makeup on and a fake nose ring that I don't even have. Like this one I have in as real, but that bull ring is not real. So anyway, um, Saturday, November 21st, 2015. I went to a Mary Kay party today. It was fun. I'm considering selling it question mark. I never did sell it started selling pharmacy like a couple years ago. It only lasted like maybe a year or two. It was fun during the pandemic, but <laughs> otherwise too much life going on for that. Um, November 22nd, 2015. I've been feeling super emotional today. I don't know why I'm feeling such a mess. Girl could be anything. Hormones. That's usually what it is. Hormones. Um, Tuesday, November 24th, 2015. Uh, another day off. I had friends giving at Richie and Ashley's house. Heart. <laughs> um, and then November 25th, I just talked about, um, how awkward it is to have Thanksgiving at your family's house and how literally you don't say much. Because no matter what side of the family's house you go to, you're going to be judged. So, at least that's how it feels. And I was talking about how, like, you can never be an individual. And, you know, if you're considered, like, the black sheep of your family. Or you're interested in more things like rock concerts like I am. Or, um, they act like you, you're not interested in regular life stuff, too. Like... Like, that's not regular, it is, but, like, you're not interested in the everyday things that everybody else is interested in, that you don't question things, or that, you know, you're just wild and ungodly, you know, just all that judgmental stuff that nobody really likes. <laughs> Friday, November 27th, 2015. Skittle tits and boob sickles. Okay. Saturday, November 28th, 2015. Fuck a doodle do. I don't know why I'm writing all that. Like, okay. I told you. Like, things change. I don't know why I write some stuff, but I, apparently that's it. Um. I don't know. November 30th, 2015. Goodbye, November. And then I wrote December and I posted a picture of our, um, stockings and our tree. That's the tree we had because we couldn't have a tree because princess would have knocked it down and she still would. So we don't really ever have a tree. So I hung up an air freshener tree between our stockings under a picture of us. Um... So this is Journaling Junkies. I did Journaling Junkies December Journal Challenge. Um, 
Number one, number of pages filled. Not many in this journal. I just started it. Number two, favorite things about December. I really don't have any favorite December things. Winter isn't really for me. My birthday is December 12th, though. Number three, cozy places to read and write. A, the bathtub. True, because it's the only time you really get any, like, privacy, you know? Um, B, a lava lamp with incense, tea. Oh, a bedroom with incense, tea, and my lava lamp. That's still pretty true. Number four, red and green journal pages. I wrote in red and green, so there's that. Um, number five, my favorite thing about cold weather, the ability to cover my body up more. It's still true. <clears throat> I don't know what that was. Anyway, number five, uh, wait, number six, five things to be jolly about, new stuff, I have a home, I have a husband that loves me, I have friends. And the fact I still have faith in myself. That one I'm not so sure about. List of holiday songs. Oh Holy Night, Mary Did You Know, and Santa Baby. Those are still my favorite Christmas songs. Number eight. Ways you've changed this year. I've realized what being taken advantage of feels like. I've realized friends that are not in the same stage of life you are can be selfish, selfish and thoughtless when you've grown up and they haven't. That is pretty relevant. Number nine, books that remind you of winter. Um, if I stay, the Polar Express and the Night Before Christmas. Ten, authors you want to read more of. I don't know, question mark. Um, eleven, your first childhood presents. Uh, bear named Pinky, the day I got when I was born, I still have him, and yes, I still have him. He's pink, and he's just like, I feel like he's always gonna like be in a box somewhere in my house, like a clear display box by my bed. Um, a radio, the best gift you've ever received, true love. Number 13, my favorite holiday movies. To be honest, I have a job that makes me work holidays, so the holidays always bum me out and make me feel not worth anything. That's pretty true every, every year. Like, it went from being because of my job, and now it's because of money. I've never... And then it's because um, families want you here, the other family wants you there. So, like, I literally hate the holidays because everybody stresses me out. And I still hate the holidays because of that. 14. Funniest holiday memory... Probably when I got my pink Barbie limo and my grandma hid it from me and told me Santa couldn't bring it. And then literally they brought it up from the basement. It was a stretch limo and it was pink. So cute. I'd like to ride in one in real life. For sure. Um, 15. A freebie. A day to write and vent. Happy birthday to my mom. <laughs> well, her birthday is the 15th, so. Uh, write a lesson on others. Forgiveness. I can't because I'm still learning to forgive myself. And I'm still learning that. Um, but I've done a lot of that. And now I'm working on forgiving other people. Um, number 17. Handwriting and candles. Number 18. Fictional characters you want to cuddle. Winnie the Pooh. Tigger. A Snuffleupagus. And an alien from the movie Home. <laughs> Pretty legit. Um, number 19, lights and decorations. I didn't post anything for that one. 20, a time when you made a snow angel when I was a kid. Actually, I made one last year. Um, last minute shopping list? No. Number 22, it's a thought that counts. That's the truth. Words that make you feel merry? Money, gift cards, shoes, and Starbucks. All of the above is still true. Holiday wishes? Gift cards, gift cards, gift cards. Still true. I love gift cards any time of year. Just saying. Do you believe in Santa? Not at all. Number 26, family traditions. Making new ones with my husband. Yeah. It's hard to make traditions when 
everyone around you makes plans and you can't make any. So, I wish that we had our own house so I could. Number 27, what year or what you do differently next year? Uh, find a job that cares about my family. Number 28, what do you like to do on a snowy day? Stay inside, watch TV, nap, and drink something summery. Yeah, that's uh, pretty true. Write an encouraging letter to yourself. Hang in there, bitch. Number 30th, how have you grown as a writer? Not sure. Maybe I've just gotten more creative. Number 31, goals for the new year. I guess my goal is just to have a better year with less drama and less struggles. Yes, still preaching that one. I wish. But there are some people who always have drama and will always toss it to you because they don't get their entire way, so they get mad at you. It's whatever. Um, December 1st, 2015. Sitting on the couch, topless, vaping, listening to music. Love it. I bet nobody was home. I was just doing my thing. With tears like diamonds, the sword. I don't know what that means. Okay. I got a whole book in the mail of pictures from blank my cousin that she and Nanny made a long time ago. I bawled so much. Then my new little faux fur keychain came in the mail. It's adorable. I don't even have that anymore, so I don't know what that was. I can't remember. Jess took me to Applebee's. I had steak. Then he got me new makeup. Hashtag princess status. I like when I can have princess status days. Definitely. I wrote bonjour in here. And like it's all pretty. Um, had an amazing day with Jess. He took me to the mall. I actually didn't mind trying on things. Even a sweet blue pair of aviators. Then we washed clothes, and he got us a ton of groceries. I cried. I was so happy. When you are, when you've experienced being so broke, you can't afford food, and you're able to start affording food after being so frustrated at your own life, you don't take food for granted or the ability to have groceries in your life ever. Friday, December 4th. I got employee of the month, WTF. That makes me feel so good. I don't know where I worked in 2015. Oh, wait, yeah, I did. I do remember. I'm not going to say where, but I remember now. Um, December 5th, 2015. Um, went to a Christmas party today. I feel so blessed. Sunday, December 6, 2015. Kelly invited me over after work to eat dinner with her and her family. I love her so much. I'm extremely grateful for my friends who are family. It's just the same, just without the same blood. Still true. Um, December 7th. Spent the day with Kelly. My hair is now blonde, red, and black. I'm so happy Kelly is so sweet enough to do my hair. I can't help but miss having Treva do it, though. Someday I'll be able to go back. And I just went back to her for the first time since 2013, and I wanted to cry. I hugged her. She hugged me, kissed my cheek. Like, we missed each other so much. She is, like, one of the most rad pers people I've ever met in my whole entire life. I love her so much. I'm grateful that I met her. Um, then there's a picture of me and one of my old co-workers. I miss working with her. She was a good, sweet friend. Um, but, you know, lives take you in different directions, so. Um, December 8th, 2015. Work today, 9 to 6. I am so burnt out. I need a break so bad. It's funny how Anonymous reveals the truth you don't know that. Why am I writing about Anonymous? I don't even watch Anonymous anymore. Like, I don't know. Do you remember when Anonymous came out? And everybody was like, oh my god, he's saying all this stuff. 
And then after a while, you're just like, is any of this even really true? You can't really put your whole thoughts into that. But anyway, let's not get into that. Um, my Birkin bag and the dust cover for it. This is the most coveted bag right now. When did I have a black Starbucks cup? Where did that go? It must have broken. Because I definitely do not have that anymore for sure. Like, there's a picture of it. Where the hell is that cup? Don't know. There's a picture of my Birkin bag in here. Can you believe a customer bought me a Birkin bag that I used to sell makeup to where I worked? True story, it happened. Then there's pictures of me and all my friends from my birthday, and I was just really freaking drunk. Really drunk. I was a sweating mess, and you can tell. <laughs> my best friend was, like, cracking up. Let's not show that picture. More pictures from my birthday. Pictures of princess shots, which are my signature drink. That's what I got drunk on. Everybody bought me princess shots. There's a running thing that, like, somebody started calling me rock and roll princess and introducing that, introducing me as that on stage um, at these local gigs, and it just kind of, it started to be a thing, and usually I have a tiara ring on my finger for that reason, because I just thought it was so funny, because I do, like, all this princessy stuff, but I, I, blah, blah, I don't have the ring on right now, because I cut my finger, so I had to take off my rings. I don't really know how I cut my finger, so don't ask. Um... And there's a picture of my best friend and her husband and me and Jess. And a picture of some of the bands that bought me drinks. Um, two of my friends that are in another band. Acquaintances. We don't really hang out much anymore. Oh, pictures of my Gibson before he died. I was listening to Adele with Gibson. He liked it. And apparently drinking coffee because I was probably hungover. Um, December 14th. Worked 8 to 4. Came home. Jess and I had a candlelit dinner. Odd life. Still the life. I love that. December 15th, which is my mom's birthday. Jess and I were both off today. We slept until almost 11. It was a relief. We both enjoyed that. I bet we did. Um, after I woke up and had a little coffee, I got ready. We went to CVS to get Mom a present and a card. Then we went to Franklin McDonald's on the hill, and I got to use peel-offs. I want a sandwich. Good job, girl. You want a sandwich. And a medium fry. So basically, half of our lunch was free. Except for my drink. Hey. Um. My mom turned 52 today. You're welcome, mom, for putting your age in my journal. Went to Dayton Barnes & Noble, which is no longer open, which sucks. It was one of my favorite things to go in there, have a coffee, and look at the journals. And now that's gone. It just, like, kills me inside. Thank you, Amazon. Um, I've been wanting for months, what? I went to Barnes & Noble. I finally got a book I've been wanting for months called Pretty Little Killers. I did? By Delene Berry. Oh, yeah, okay, I remember that book. It's about the murder of Skylar Niece. I kind of got into that whole case and totally... I totally inherit my love of court cases from Nanny. She loved court TV. That's true. Work called me in yet again today. On my day off. So far they've called me Friday at 1 something to go in early. 
I was in the shower when they called, but I went in as soon as I could. Then, Blank called me to see if I wanted to come in Saturday on my birthday at 8.01 .01 a.m. And I'm like, you have to be freaking kidding me. I put in that day off, and then you're going to call me and ask me to come in. Then, while we were at McDonald's, Blank called at 1.55 to see if I could come in. It's my mom's birthday, and I made plans. I'm keeping record of all of their calls now. They're going to keep on until I absolutely record all of these calls and send them to corporate. It's becoming so frequent, it's going to be harassment. Dude, that's one of my pet peeves. Like, when I have a job, if you're going to call me on repeat every single solitary day, can you come in early? Can you stay late? Can you come in on your day off? Can you come in for a little bit on your day off? Can you come in on your day off? I'm going to get really pissed. And I'm going to just be like, it's one thing to want to work, but when your life gets repeatedly interrupted over and over and over and over, like, I was not a manager. Um, Wednesday, December 16th. I'm so sick of Blank's cast of characters and the things that go with it. Thanks for the gift of Starbucks, Ashley, but I don't want to be lied to for somebody with a dominating personality. You'd let somebody else's opinions or statements or decisions or actions, what, for you. Was that a lie? I am now seeing in her what everybody else has. I thought I was making a friend. Fooled me again. Also, Walgreens is not my life. Oh. You didn't hear me say that. December 17th. I don't want to be here at Blank at all. Blank put in her two weeks notice. That's okay because... All that's here today, I must have been writing on my lunch, is Blank, Blank, and Blank. The do-nothing brat. And blank. I wish he would leave. And me with blank and blank doing nothing but gossiping all night. It's going to be a long night. December 18th. I worked. Are you surprised? That's my life anymore. December 19th. Worked again. Shocker. December 20th. And I worked today. I am so tired of work. Everybody can relate, I think. December 21st. Off today and Jess took me to see the Christmas lights at this place in Eaton called Fort St. Clair. I've been wanting him to take me for five years now. It was worth the wait because it was beautiful. The weather was perfect. We kissed in a light lit covered bridge. There was hot chocolate, a lit up path, Christmas music. It was all I could ever ask for. I probably made my day after working all those days straight and not being left alone. Tuesday, December 22nd. Apparently the government is controlling the weather and human population with chemtrails. What? Also, why do I still have this damn insecurity about blank? Like, why? At the slight mention of her, I get this look on my face like, I don't know. Am I just insecure because, blank, 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 let's not read the rest of that. I still feel really insecure compared to that person. December 27th, the past few days have been so busy. Christmas and blank seeing, oh, let's not talk about that, that's really personal. December 29th, went on an absolute spending spree yesterday, and it was a blast. Listen, retail therapy is like the best thing ever, okay? I needed it. I got two Live Loci bracelets. Do you remember those? Two pairs of pants, MAC media lipstick, an adult coloring book with colored pencils, Kat Von D lipstick, Marc Jacobs lipstick. I'm a lipstick person. Can you tell? Um... Excuse me. Eyeliner, a facial mask, and a new mirror while dining at O'Charlie's. We found out that Lemmy from Motorhead died. 
one of my friends was friends with him. And I didn't find that out until, like, a couple years later. And it's still sad because she misses him. And he seemed like such a cool guy. Like, just hearing her talk about his personality just as a person. And not just, like, the musician that he was. December 30th. I slept really deeply last night into this morning. Woke up wishing Jess was home so I could at least touch him. I can't really... <laughs> Anyways, I slept until after 11 this morning. I finally got out of bed after noon. I waxed more of my leg. <laughs> I was trying to learn to wax my legs and it hurt so bad I couldn't hack it. I still can't. I do want one of those epilators. I think that's... Or no, not epilators. Um... I don't know what they're called. You know, the zapper things? They, like, plug in your wall and they, like, zap the hair off. Lasers? The little laser thing, you know? Stick them with sunglasses? I want one. Okay, sorry. Back to my journal. I think I was talking about shaving my legs. Um, today is the first day of 2016. I slept until noon. I'm off work. I think I made a decision. This year needs to be about Mr. and Mrs. Miller and not our jobs. <laughs> and then COVID happened, so. But that was five years after this. And there's a package from my Mark Jacobs stuff. Saturday, January 2nd, 2016. At least my workday went fast. A couple of weird things happened today. That were disappointing. One, my car battery died, but my awesome husband got me a new one. Two, can't even say that. Number three, Blank is a whole brat. We went to see a movie. Blank was supposed to go see with my husband. He's such a child, I don't think he'll ever grow up. I honestly don't think he likes that Jess and I are married and in love because we think each other's needs we think of each other's needs and not just ourselves independently. He would deny it, but that's just obvious. And then I wrote a poem on January 4th. All the days are starting to blur. It all feels the same of this, I'm sure. I am just a number. I have no soul. I did not sign my life away, but it will hit them tenfold. I will be the winner here because I'm the one with heart. Just remember, I warned you when you fall apart. Okay. January 5th, 2016. Apparently, I wrote a number, another poem. I haven't wrote a poem, and I can't even tell you how long. I keep saying I'm going to write another song, and then I just don't. I don't know why. I just don't have the oomph right now, I guess. Um, but it says, eventually it all comes down to this. We feel the same now. We're ready to split. Take all you can with no intention to give. Drain of all life. We're begging to live. It's all good and dandy. Dedicate your life. But I'm already married. I'm somebody's wife. Waste away all you want for somebody else's greed. They don't, give, they don't give a care. Your dollar signs, your money. How's it feel to be a number when you're dead on the floor? You gave them your life, but they still want more. And once you've given all, there will be someone else to move up the ladder where they're stocking the shelves. That wasn't bad, to be honest. And that's all true. Uh, January journaling challenge. What's your New Year's resolution for 2016? To be better financially. Isn't that just every year? Newest journal. I've got so many before my... I can't even talk. Why? For my birthday and Christmas. Describe your writing space. I love to write in numerous places just so I can say I've written there. That's still true. I love to write in, like, hotels and like outside at parks you know coffee places not just my house the bathtub 
princess is sitting across from me listening to me talk and she's smiling it's cute um which are your favorite notebooks peter popper press and moleskine's that's also still true i adore peter popper press i love moleskine's i love just plain cover journals that are lined with the elastic a little space in the back for stuff and a bookmark and I can get like any sticker I want to put on the cover of the plain journals, so. Um, who are your writing role models? Stevie Nicks and Karen Moline. Still true. Which books influenced your writing? Stevie Nicks Journal and Belladonna by Karen Moline. Still true. An old or new sketch. I drew Kuropi. Pastel and watercolor. I always use blue and pink. Like baby blue and baby pink. Journaling and coffee. I drew a heart because I love them. Your favorite writing quotes? As a writer, you ask yourself to dream while you're still awake. Amy Bender. Writing is the painting of the voice. Voltaire. Still love this. What is a favorite famous poem? Um, Stevie Nicks wrote this poem a long time ago called The Dreamer, and it's never really been released, but somebody put it on a website, and I even used it in my senior year quote. Um, the dreamer stands in the doorway, she points the way to the pathway. No, the pathway is never easy, and I know not just for me. Truth doesn't always bring happiness, and love never comes free. Wander the road to nowhere, wondering which way to go. You still keep trying to follow a woman you don't even know. Pretty deep shit, if I think about it in comparison to my life now. Um, number 12, I write because... Dot, dot, dot. I write because I want a voice to someday um, leave my memory to live on. I hope somebody in the future will love me enough that my journals will matter. Somehow, they will love them, and they will love me, too. I have this thing about, I want my memory to live on somehow, and even if I'm gone, I still want somebody to love me. I don't know why. I don't, I just, is everybody like that? I live my life to, like, the fullest and write about it because I really want my memory to last. And I hope nobody burns these when I die. List the books you've read for this year. It's only January. It's only January. That's what I wrote. Favorite pens to write with. Markers. That's what I wrote. Write a short story about a lonely sweater. If you wanted, <laughs> I quoted a Weezer song. If you want to destroy my sweater, pull the string while I walk away. Have you guys heard that song? If you want to destroy my sweater, pull the string while I walk away. While I walk away. <laughs> that was so bad, but like, yeah. Writing by Lamplight. No time for that this month. That's what I wrote. Best Smashbook page, a what -a. Office supplies. I love stationery. Your original writing is private. Well, it is till this video and the other ones I filmed. What do you like most about January? When it's over. A rainbow of pins. And I wrote rainbow in different colors. Rainbow. Oh, wait, there it is. Rainbow. Excuse me, I'm a nerd. It's okay. 25. Your favorite cold weather adjectives. Forget the cold. I hate cold weather. Number 26. Your personal writing goals. To keep writing as long as I'm able to. And whomever may inherit my journals is my fervent hope that they keep my legacy alive. And I hope it's with love. I just talked about that. Write about building a snowman. 
I wrote words in the shape of a snowman and put buttons in the circle between it. It's stupid. Fairy lights and cozy nights. And I wrote, yes! And I just had a night like that, so I don't hate it. Your keys to success this year. Busting my... Literally wrote it. <laughs> Number 30, advice and encouragement to your fellow writers. Keep writing. Number 31, a messy pile of notebooks. And I wrote, makes my heart happy. It does make my heart happy. I love a big pile of notebooks because there's so much potential for you to live life. Ooh, pictures I took of Jess and outside and they're so good. I took those. Rarely, like, okay, little known fact. I'm a really good photographer. Not a lot of people know that. I took that too. Looks like a postcard. I'm really, really, I have an eye. And I love it. Wednesday, January 6th. 2016. Got a positive note from Blank about winning the gift set from the contest. Later on, I found out they're letting Blank come back. WTF. Blank is so much better without that girl. Ugh. Why the Blank place would let Blank let this happen? I'm just disappointed. Thursday, January 7th. I slept until we woke up. No alarms. Jess and I are both off today. We went to Blank again. Unfortunately, the tires I thought we were going to get for his car, we won't. They live Blank. Went to Cadillac Jacks. Totally not impressed. Came home, painted my nails, which I feel I haven't done in forever. I did feel pretty, though. I spent almost three hours doing my hair and makeup. I even wore fake eyelashes. After I did my nails, I took a long bath while Jess was watching some disgusting movie. I cleaned my side of the bed. Yay. I love not living in absolute filth. I mean... Yep, yep. Um... Can't talk about that. Sunday, January 10th. F mornings, F work, F doing tags, F snow, and F inspections. I wrote another poem, but it's stupid and I'm not going to read it. And then something else. And then I did not know that DJ Ashba followed me on Instagram. I guess I forgot. Who the f knew? I did, and then I forgot. <laughs> anyway, then I posted a picture of me. And another picture of me doing that. Whatever. And then I wrote a poem about David Bowie dying. And it says, Hail, hail the Goblin King, the creator of so many things. A genius in the music world has finally been freed. All hail the Goblin King. Hail, hail Ziggy Stardust, just a space oddity. There will never be another. We all love you, Ziggy. Hail, hail David Bowie, a rock star's dream. We'll see you again in heaven. Rest in peace, Mr. B. <laughs> Monday, January 11th. David Bowie is dead. The world is a little less beautiful. Rest in peace, Sir Goblin King. So sad. Damn. 
Tuesday, January 12th, 2016. Had a freaking blizzard this morning. Things I can't talk about in public. <laughs> We're going to skip all that. I posted a picture of Stevie with Sting. Because Stevie next needs to be on or in every journal I have. Um, apparently. January 13th. Uh, both of us had to work today. I got up and had a Pop-Tart. I try not to eat Pop-Tarts anymore. And coffee. Coffee's my addiction. I watched TV. I had a bowl of rice and veggies. Got my uniform on. Started going over songs. Put on my face. While I did that, went to work. Boring AF. I wrote another poem. Apparently 2016 was like the year for me to write a bunch of poems. Don't know why, but it was. Um, I wake in the morning with squinted, painful eyes. I will complain and be mean at the early time. But alas, no one cares. I do what I must do. I put on a fake smile and a fake good attitude. My closet... My bad. Okay, nice. Start over. We'll just start from where I left off. My closet is starting to look just like Doug Funny. All the same uniforms, just so I can make money. I arrive on time before I hit the clock. Dear God, please, no one stop me. I just don't want to talk. Please sell all you can. This has to get done. But before you do this, but please, have fun. Just smile, just nod, enthusiastically agree. You don't get charged twice. If it didn't go, are you three? Sigh and pretend it's my pleasure, my friend. Just have to pee, and now you have a question. Finally, now it's time for lunch. But someone went on break an hour after their first punch. Sounds legit. Now I'm on lunch. Finally get set. You paged me on the intercom. I freaking told you where I went. Dear God, are you serious? I have to. I don't know, the cold, just to smoke <laughs> cigarettes. I just want to smoke. Finally back on my project when I hear that page. Oh great, what do you mean someone called off and now I have to watch for your break? Internally I'm screaming like that toy aisle child. If that was my kid, I'd smack the shit out of him. But you reward him for going wild. My blood is rushing, my head is pounding, ready to lose my mind. Finally back from break. It's about time. Now that's not all my department, but I'll pretend that it is. So you can just sit there and lie and tell me you've been waiting for 45 minutes. F this project and F the end caps. This blank is going back. If this is a reality show, I know you would all laugh. I'm laughing at the poem because it's all true. My work area is cleaned up now and yeah, it's time to go. You'll remind me of what's not all done tomorrow. Go ahead and write me up because who cares? Who knows? There are days I'd rather be homeless than see you driving, see you again in your pajama pants. But what the hell do I know? Aren't you always right? This is a retailer's rant. Okay. That's pretty funny. I was mad, obviously. And then I posted a lottery ticket because... You know, who doesn't want to win the lottery? And quit their job. <laughs> My dream was strange last night. I was in a mausoleum. It was gold and ornate and ancient Egyptian. Suddenly, Bobby Christina, Winnie Houston's daughter, was there. She hugged me and we were talking about how that even though her body was there, she was no longer in her body. Then she showed me a ring I was wearing. It was also gold and ornate, and then I pressed this button, and a drawer in the mausoleum popped out, and I yelled, run. We ran downstairs, and I asked her why. Why was she there? Why was I where? Why was I there? And then I woke up. What is wrong with me, and why can't I talk? January 25th, or January 15th. I worked. Surprise, surprise. Sigh. Tired of being inside that damn store. Saturday, January 16th. 
so far 2016 has just been death. It's been like that for like years now. It's so stupid. Um, Natalie Cole, Scott Weiland, who we just saw, David Bowie, the voice of Cartoon Robin Hood, the lead character of Disney's The Jersey, and Grizzly Adams are all gone, all in the span of two weeks. I feel like any piece I've ever had at work is about to end because Blank is coming back today, and I'm just dreading it. I can't stand that girl. January 18th, Glenn Fry of the Eagles died tonight, WTAF. Is life for real? What exactly is God doing up there? P.S. Never mind. Can't read that. January 18th, now I'm officially on vacation. Good for me. Our neighbor finally got evicted. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> Couldn't stand that girl either. She kept us up all hours of the night. Like, you could hear her with her boyfriends. And she was loud all hours of the night. And she was a hooker. Like, she was just a hooker. Apparently that's the end of this journal. I have a dream theater and an in this moment postcard taped in there. Christmas cards. Justice sex me said his nose started bleeding great. And that's pretty much it. Just Christmas cards. I wonder who they're from. Looks like my grandparents. And a friend online. That's pretty much it. So that was the end of this journal. It was just a bunch of uh, me hating my life and not much changing and hating the holidays, which I always do. Um, so hopefully the next journal that I actually do um, talk about on here will be better. I'm sure I'll find one eventually. If you like me reading my journals, let me know in the comments below. That's about it. Bye.